All right, everybody. So um, as you can see, this week we are not under the van. We are sitting comfortably inside the van and we're not going out. So whilst we're waiting for the other heating plumbing parts to arrive from, uh, you know, Europe and it passes through customs and whatnot, whatever, 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 uh, we're going to go ahead and do our splashback and our trim around this window to make it look a little bit more homely and just taking a break from, uh, you know, the whole uh, can't see, ow, it hurts, pain. So that's that. Let's get on with the van commercial, shall we? This is a splashback. And this is how we're going to start. We're, gonna, we, we're trying to keep things um, as simple as possible with the least amount of, uh, you know, attach attachments, fastenings, and overlaps as possible. So what this is, is uh, one mil thick um, stainless steel, and it is magnetic and will demonstrate its beauty at the end of the video. So the splash bag is going to sit here as you see it, and so far we're planning to screw it in. The first thing we need to do is uh, wedge that up against the wall there, make sure as straight as it can be along this edge, and then trim this going along with the um, definitely not straight window frame. Can we put you on a tripod? Because I need Sam's hands. Right. Yeah, we're wedged. That's wedged as far up there as possible. Can't tell that there's drawing. Hmm. At least it's not drawing on my wall. They did draw. Alright, here's our line. Let's say we ordered the right size piece, huh? Yeah, just. Could we use that to cut? Yeah, I can use that to cut. Now, it doesn't matter if we scratch this side, because this is the side that's going to face inward, so we're never going to see it once it's mounted. No burn marks? No, not as far as I can see. This is the side that got all the jagged edge. This side is actually relatively smooth. Nice. Okay. I hope this aligns. How are we doing on that edge? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Obviously we'll file that down smooth. It's good. Good. It doesn't need much of, of anything. Okay. Excellent. So, we can screw that in, pretty much. Yeah, we need to mark out exactly where. Yeah, now I've done that. See that notepad there? Mm. Let me just take this off. What do we have here? So this is the framing, huh? Yeah. So each of these are the framing pieces. This is the window, and this is the bit against the shower wall. Mm -hmm. These X's are where, because we've got five centimeters of framing to play with, so I wanted the screws to be as even as possible. Okay, so we've marked out where the holes need to be. There's uh, a X under each one. There you go. Very faintly. Yeah. So, because this is uh, stainless steel, we're gonna need a pilot hole, okay? Uh, and based on what we see here, I think it's gonna look fine. There you go, that's nice. Cool. I'll grab it. Some of our plumbing. Excellent. It's already been opened. <laughs> Have a look. Do you remember ordering this? I remember ordering two of these. This is the stuff that goes on the PEX pipe. I don't want to pay another £5 delivery for another one. Well, if uh, you shouldn't have to pay for it. Fingerprints, the evidence. <sighs> we can remove the evidence. Almost. 
Oh, okay, that was a workout. I'm done for the day. Let's hope the holes line up. I mean, I measured them. Uh -huh. Well, they all seem to be on wood. Okay, step one. That's technically done. That's the backsplash. After we finish with the um, under counter cupboards here, that's gonna lift this higher and that gap's gonna close because at the moment the counter's uh, bending yeah. a bit. So if I lift it at the back, there you go. Yeah. So that's gonna lift a bit uh, and then we have to finish off this edge yeah. um, with something, yeah. whether that be sealant or something yeah. else. But we can only do that once the counter is fixed. Yeah. So we're gonna leave that for now. Yeah, but I like our choice of the of the stainless steel. We were very unsure how the screws were going to look when exposed on this splashback, but with the screw caps they look great. And uh, the stainless steel splashback goes really well with our stainless steel sink. Yeah. I'm happy. Oh, and I don't know whether we told you, but have a look at this. Observe. Stainless steel, a magnetic hook. That That's very strong. <laughs> It's magnetic as well, so we can use it as a magnetic board to stick stuff on, attach little, I don't know, holders or magnets with post-it notes on it, anything. Now we went with stainless steel because we were looking at what kind of options we can use for our splashback, what kind of materials. Acrylic was pretty much the most basic one that we came across, although it was £80 for this cube. This I think was under 30 this steel. Also acrylic scratch is much easier than steel and steel is easier to clean up and um, make it look shiny again. The only real advantage to the acrylic over the steel was that the acrylic was a little bit lighter. Um, I guess we could have used tiles, a lot of people use tiles. Actual tiles would have been really heavy, so that was a definite no for us. Stick on tiles we did have a look at, but A we couldn't really find any that we liked or any real stick-on tiles that worked well and B the stick-on tiles didn't actually say the weight so we didn't know how much they were going to weigh and we still had to put something behind it to stick the stick-on tiles on top so it would have been like doubling up weight and such so hence 0.9 millimeter thick steel that's magnetic all right let's crack on okay so now that the uh, splashback is up we need to tidy up this uh, this edge in this edge here mm -hmm. something of the sort so this thing needs to be parallel to this line yeah as much as possible mm -hmm. there you go so that needs a trim here yep this then uh, it, these pieces need sanding mm -hmm. and then that can be glued, that can be screwed. So that's dry fit one. <laughs> More trimming required. Press it without moving. Okay. That's where it needs to be. All right. I have to paint that little section. That's fine. I'll sand it off as best we can. So uh, doing this, this helps it not squeeze out too far. Okay, so this is the start of the trim. It's been stuck on here. Now it's not coming off. The same way as uh, that one here. Now for the rest of the trim, we're actually gonna do little shelves. Uh, so we're gonna double up the use of, you know, the trim and make it into a shelf. This is one we made earlier. It's just a neat little shelf. It's not holding anything overly heavy. It's just, you know, um, get a 
plan to hang down, you know. Um, we'll keep you, your salt and pepper condiments. Yeah, or something like that. So essentially, uh, this acts as the window trim. There you go, the same way as uh, it does on the other side. You have a lip here. And then we've just, um, you know, made the made it 3D. We might paint it eventually or something, but I wanted to see it, you know, just just in its wooden natural tones. And so far, it looks pretty good. Yep. Um, yep. Sweet. Need to remove the masking tape. Yeah. Our highly sophisticated clamping technique here, though remarkably useful. Yeah. Because if this doesn't they don't work, I don't really know what to do. Yeah, so this is what the shelf is supposed to look like. And we're just gonna pop the other one together and show you how we did it. So putting this together proved a little bit more tricky than, than we thought it would. What we need to do is uh, attach this to the back, attach this at the front, and uh, then, you know, finish off the sides and put, and put this little uh, bar, on, bar on, on the front. However, Trying to just glue and clamp this didn't work. It's too long <laughs> and it's too slippery. And it was bending all um, over the place. And because this is so thin, this is only uh, six mil CLS timber, so it's, so it's just pine and stuff. Any attempt to screw, nail, or dowel anything into <laughs> it um, basically <laughs> risks cracking and it, more, it, it cracked pretty much every time. We even tried our amazing glazing sealant to try and stick it together. But, you know, the glazing sealant is not for wood, so yeah. one, one is not overly surprised that that didn't yeah. work. We knew that wood glue was the way to go, we just needed to figure out a way to clamp it, and the way that we came up with... Well, the fastest way that we came up with, <laughs> there were a few other ways that, that, that we could have gone, but essentially, we're going to sacrifice basically a few holes yeah. in, into into our wood, and gonna basically screw uh, these um, old brackets to... Yeah clamp it essentially while whilst yeah. it's drying and then once the wood glue has dry we'll take those mm -hmm. off you'll yeah. see i mean <laughs> you, you you can see now that the, the the holes are really not intrusive at all that is the screw hole that's left over yeah which is barely noticeable yeah so if it does bother us eventually or if you want to use this method of clamping and it then bothers you then you can use uh, sawdust and glue to, fi yeah. to fill the hole and you're not going to see it it's fine so this is the base and that's the back. Yeah. Now we need to first screw these on the back of this. Yeah. Right. So there you go. There you go. So the screw just about comes mm. through, but you can use washers to stop that happening, but yeah. we didn't care that much. <laughs> So now that we've done that, okay, so we position this here. Yep. And then we need to put some glue on this edge. We put a blob of glue going down. All right. So, <clears throat> what we do I've got this. Yeah, is we just go directly down. Don't worry too much about the overspill. <laughs> Try not to smudge it though. Now, whilst one of us is holding, the other one can come and put another screw yeah. in there. Alright, stop. Yep. Alright, so that is okay for now. Because the idea is just to hold this in place mm -hmm. uh, whilst we yeah. get the clamps on. We can even then remove the screws when the clamps are coming on. Okay, so now we quickly <laughs> get the front trim. Yeah. There you go. And we need to stick it on, on the that. front. Yeah. That's clamped. Yeah, so that closed the gap right here. Okay, by the way, it's best to leave those blobs sticking out and then you can chisel them out uh, just before they, they dry completely. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, if you smudge it, you have to sand a lot more. So now 
we release the tension of the um, of the L bracket, and that will allow us to push even more. Yeah. On with the now clamps. because we have the clamps, it's held it more in place. Yeah, things don't roll around <laughs> in place. Now we leave that to dry. Um, quite sturdy. Well, when it comes to, uh, you know, clutter, cl clutter shells, sturdy enough. I don't know how, how long did this barrel last. Might, might have to uh, upgrade it. Yeah. But we're not really planning to put anything extreme on this, but still. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Uh, if it breaks, it breaks. We'll, we'll upgrade it. I did say take off the screws. But it's the perfect size. <sighs> See? Look, even the big box of screws perfectly fits on the shelf. To the millimeter. Excellent. That is not where they're living. Okay, okay. I'm taking our screws off. <laughs> Admittedly, it's, a, it, it's a, the perfect size. But no, it's the kitchen. It's not the garage. <laughs> Can somebody give us recommendations for a nice real-life dangly plant to go there? Those screws are holding up the ivy. They're staying. They look really nice when you actually have some greenery on there. Yeah, I like it. Look at it. So pretty. It's also nice to remind oneself what one, one's counter looks like. Yes. Yeah, I took the cardboard off the protective layer for this reason, specifically. And we're just playing around, this is loose. But we're like, what does a little piece of wood down there look like? Yeah, that might look, look nice yeah. for when the counter is ready. So there you go, today's task has been accomplished. Um, it was more or less winging it and I think it, it turned, turned out okay. Yeah. I definitely recommend doing some sort of uh, little shelving units like that because they are excellent for storing screws. <laughs> um, or anything else that you that, that you might fancy. Yeah. So um, thanks for joining us today, and well, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, doing something. Don't know what we're doing next week. Nope. Might be heating. Might be lighting. Might be ceiling. Uh, that will probably be lighting before ceiling. Oh, need to check my list. Anybody else tangled? The ivy. Ivy sucks.